Hello guys, welcome back to another what if video. This is part 2 on what if Oslo was the son of Lemuel and Sikre. Let's dive into it. We begin. Of, we do a time skip now. After the demonstration like baptism of Oslo. So Oslo is now chilling outside. That's also just the uh, <sighs> She's like not walking outside when he hears someone training. He goes and sees no one there. Says, huh? You look a lot like the Silver Eagles, Captain. Says then all shocks it. <laughs> she well, well, um she's my mother, see. See You know you can just ask the others for help controlling magic. S s what? They, w they won't think any different of you. That's all I gotta say. S wait, why, why can't you help me control my magic? Then Austin stares at her, like, the and says, Ser dead serious, says, I don't trust anyone. Just ask your mother, and you will know why you don't trust anyone. Betrayed by people you trusted before makes you not trust anyone. Things. So yeah. No, all this size is whatever. It's done. Uh, now we go to A series. So fix still things. Uh, it is some days after she has retired as the captain, but she still wants to go in a magic night squads. She consults with her, like, oldest uh, son, well, her son, oldest child, Nocelle, and asks, what should I do about it? I just don't know. So what about the Black Bulls? Said so you can find out more about this Asta guy. Apparently talked about betrayal, and you can watch her all as well. So that's a great idea, Nocelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Said, so, no problem, mother. Then she decides to tell Jules about it, so Yam gets informed, said yeah, yeah, whatever, just you become White's captain or something. Keep the bread down, but under control. Then, like, next evening, the, the day after Noel has uh, go, was talked to her to help them, they start helping her control the magic, which is real helpful. As they all was informed but of Asa's distrust towards people. If something happened, they were close to him that betrayed him or something. That's the way he doesn't trust anyone. And then next evening, Yami says, Come here, everyone. That's so what he said. And so they, they said, Wait, where's Asa? Says, I'm here. Just wait, wait, what? Then looks up and sees the, like the support beams. Also, is resting one of them. Said, so aren't you going to introduce our new vice captain or not? Says, uh, wait, how did you? Said, never mind. Says, yes, welcome our new vice captain, Acer Silva. Yes, she decided to join our squad because blah blah. She has her reasons. Also, that I know goddamn well there are. He muttered. Yami heard is an Aesir as well, said so he figured out, huh? They fought, both fought. This is blah blah. She, if she says something, it's take it as from me and you obey it immediately. So yeah. Then no was surprised and goes up to hugs her awkwardly, says to, said right, then Aesir says now can train only magic, says thanks. Then she tells about a little bit of that she knows, says huh. She, no, Acer fought, so we, we know what family really confirmed. He might tell people. Then Acer fight said. He said thank you, Asta, for tr help advising her on that. Yes, huh? Did you mean to help or did he have an other motives for doing that? Said. 
If it meant that I won't get splashed during a mission, joint mission that we will be forced to do soon, then it's worth it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered. Then she sweat drops it. So you did it just because you didn't want to get wet? Said, yep. Said, okay. Uh, anyway, she says, um, introduce everyone. Everyone introduces yourself. Also stays on the support team now. Then everyone walks away. Ace wants to talk to Austin more, but she says, looks at the support team. He's already gone. So where could he go now? She muttered. Said, who? When I saw, said Asta, I want to figure out more about him, so see, so that's one of the reasons and the other was watch over Noel here, is it? Said, what, how? Said, we all kind of figure out. Yeah, we told us about the strange, how we spoke and all that, their entry exam. And you're here to figure out why he's too tapsomatic as well, said, how do you, said he used both on the baptism thing, you want to so? Then she says, can you tell me more about Asta? So, well, he never reveals anything. Unless he wants to, like... Seriously, the only thing we know is that he's betrayed by family. That's all what he considered family. No, it's not his real family. For some reason, he's never said that. We asked him for a spell article, he said no. But he knows who his biological parents are as well. He doesn't blame them for anything, he know Well... So yeah, but it's not that. It's the other way he really lived. And that's all we know so far, Asa thinks, huh? Is this why? Or is interest in Austin? Perhaps a little crush, huh? Asa stutters said, what? What? Me? N on him? He's too young for me, she started. It's not what I want to tell anyone. Then Austin sinks from the ceiling. And says behind her, says, and I won't tell anyone either. I'll make sure I don't tell Austin either. Says, thanks. Then she looks at and says, what with it? Asta said, go on. So I swear I could hear Asta so. say that. Vanessa says, but yeah, me too. Ooh, creepy. Asta then disappears and goes to training trip now. To not reveal anything unnecessary. He still thinks that his parents actually left him. He remembers almost everything about his parents would pray with them, but then they sent him away. Like, seriously, he thought. So they abandoned me. So, yeah, as his spirits now, he had. He talked to it a little bit and realized that it had duties to fulfill, so he actually released it from being a spirit now. She could fulfill her duties even more as the spirit thanks him. So, yes, all is spiritless now. Then we go to the first mission now, where Asta, Magna, and Noel are sent to. Well, if they can find Austin, that is. As they tried to find her, but they just couldn't at the moment, so this is. Uh, a said you're going with them as well, then. Okay. So then. They said where the hell this Asta was. So they go to their village now. They, they slay the boars quickly. Then walk to the village, but then see the mist. It says magic. As they manage to disperse the like, mist a lot. As they go to the middle, they see Asta actually fighting them already. Then he decides to do something. He seals their. He doesn't want to. He knows he can seal magic away, but he doesn't want to do it use it yet, it's one of his trump aces. So as to see the movements, and then just punch them with light magic fist. And seal, uh, seal their feet to the ground, and just punch them so they fall back and break their like, legs. I know it sounds cruel and all, but also does it to make them walk down. So yeah, also then he's managed to knock them out, says, huh, that's easy, says. I speaks at the medic stone. So now I'll guide it back. It's my stone, not yours. Also, speak pick pocket it, or put it in the pocket. 
Chief says, thank you, thank you for saving us, said, no problem. Then we're after looking up, says, oh, hello, what are you doing here? He says to casually to the others, Black Bolt members. S well, um, we were supposed to kill Boris, but I sort of missed and all said, huh, oh. Well, I heard some rumors about the terrorist but, like, attack on this village, I plan to get here. Then I managed to find a stone on the way, but they tried to stole it from, took it from me, so I kind of kicked their ass. Hey <laughs> That's then the chief would say, so you wouldn't help us if they only attack the village, or... So no, I would help, I wouldn't be this brutal, said why, said this stone is important. Ma ma this magic stone, and I'm keeping my hands on it. It said, shouldn't we send it to Wizard King, said, and that's why we shouldn't send it to Wizard King, said why, said, because they're expecting us to do so. Also says. As yes, anyway, take these guys to the capital if you want. I got some other, I'm, I got some places to be. Also, also says before leaving. As the shots, wait, how does it then? Austin jump, he climbs to the shirts and he jumps up and it flies with light speed. Then, then the uh, Acer size says, Never mind. Said, So, have you known him for long? Says, We've known him for some years. Said, Can you tell us more about him? Said, Why do you want to know more about him? Says, well, because we figured it's kind of mysterious, we want to know more about his past to understand him and make him trust people. Said, trust me, he's not going to trust anyone completely. It's gonna be hard, and I'm not telling about his past because he doesn't want me to. You have to figure out in other ways. The only thing I'll tell you is that he was raised in a, in a village in the Forsaken Realm. But after they betrayed him, he survived on his own, but came to this village selling hunting goods to survive. It's like another grandson for me, but he doesn't consider me a grandfather at all. He, no one is close to him. But yeah, Acer says thanks anyway. So it's just to go back, the thing passes Acer passes more pieces into the puzzle of Asta. A smile of things but as well. It's, huh. No thinks it's kinda mysterious and handsome is. Here's a thing a Acer heard it says he's mine. Says, but but, but the, you're like three, four times older than him. As it starts to be green, Magnet wisely just said, um, I'm flowing, is it okay if I fly back to base? They s s nods, yes, says, yeah, they continue the battering. As she heard this, said, well, uh, what the hell, he thinks, kind of to himself. Poor guy. So then, <laughs> what was this? He says, why do I have a feeling that someone's firing all my affection? Jeez. So then, as we see Austin now, he's sitting, well, chilling in this room now, in the back of the space, uh, with Winterstone, sees the bird, the noise he has followed him so much, says, Stop following me, bird, or during my dinner. The bird finds him evidently, because Sekre kinda, like, understands that he probably will go through with it. 
she says she just wishes she could be the more for him for her son she didn't count on that he would remember them but apparently did well her actions thought so his actions was like that she thought Then, well, Austin would have. Uh, well, they come back now and it tells Yam what happened. The guys took suicide, so they. Well, they couldn't get information from them. So then they informed Yam about the magic stone Austin has in his possession. Yam decides to go confront Austin about it. So, like, convinced to give it to a booster king, but decides that it's not gonna work, he thinks, definitely, to himself. It's Yama knocks on the door to his room, says, What is it? Who is it? And what do you want? It's Captain Jami. Says, Opens the door, says, What do you want? He says, said, The magic stone, hand it to me. We gotta give it to the king for safekeeping. And also it says 10. Yeah, what? 9. So what? 8. What are you counting down for? It says, until I kick your ass and out of here, I'm not giving away the stone that I found. It's mine and mine alone. 7. Yeah, it raises himself. 6. Yeah, we'll draw some this katana now. Ready? 5. Four, three, two. What's going on here? Ace says. One. Yeah, that says. What? Tell me now. What's going on here? Ace demands. Says zero. Then Ace just kicks it. Raises his foot and just said, "This doesn't. This is Sparta cake." Without saying this, Sparta kicks Yam right into the wall. And close door. Says Yam. Yam, are you okay? Said, "What the hell?" Ace thinks, "What happened?" Said, uh, um, uh, I tried to take stone from him to give it to Whisking. So, I s so what did he do? He said, count on to the kick my ass, and looks like he did it. <laughs> they report everything to Whisking what happened, but except for Magic Stone, they said to keep it away. So, no, not man, use in case they have infiltrators. Until other Black Boss members, but the, the few that knew about it just to keep quiet about the stone as well. So yeah, as uh, so now we go and see. Oh, so yes, yeah, the current is sleeping in the night when the bird is again, but he still hugs the stone. So yeah, but then it also walks up and what walks out to meet it stands outside of the cold. I usually can't sleep either, so I decide to take a break on the balcony. As she sees also standing stand there, says, hmm, can't sleep. Says, what do you want? Said, jeez, calm down, not everything. Said, I know you're trying to figure out my past, so what do you want to know now? Why do you hate them so much? Why do you hate people? Why don't you ever try to... Do you ha have you ever tried to trust someone again? Then Austin starts to her, said it's not worth it. Austin says before he's standing on the balcony, balcony like a fence. He starts to jump down, lands on the ground. As you would see, Acer watches him walk to a tree, jump down, jump up and land on a branch. He just promptly falls asleep there. So the next morning, everyone wakes up, the one where Austin is, says, sleeping on a tree branch still. Ace thought, then Ace tells what happened yesterday. Says, huh. No, I thought, damn, I gotta get some close points to him. This competition, oh, mother, he's gonna be mine. So 
So did she find the tree? It's, well, she starts practicing on water magic. So yeah. Uh, so she doesn't realize it's the tree there, or as they that she's sleeping in that she practices on. She throws it, but then it is splashes from the tree. But then she throws again multiple, also except now, becomes slightly wet. He dries it mildly. When he sees another werewolf coming, he stops it with this. With sealing magic, he seals it in place. Close to her, then he decides to send a light beam, light, slight light ball to like explode it on her. She gets extremely wet now. So come on, what the? Then I says more light beams as she sees them now. As she runs. No, 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 this. That's right, run. As the others watch out, so what's not screaming about? They see light beams is dancing around well now. Then you see from, coming from a tree, then Acer first pounds said, So why is doing that? Then Acer said, Can you stop that now, Asa? I says, Huh? What do you want? Can you please stop trying to hit my daughter? Said I'm not trying to hit her. When she's running from the beam, she's almost running to the ones I shoot. I shoot them in front of her, so she almost runs into them. So technically, she's gonna be the one to hit herself then. I'm not at fault here. Besides, she started practicing in water, her magic brought checking the tree first. But I guess you gotta respect the old leaves now, so I'll stop. Ace gets tick marks, and what did he say? This is called the old lady because that's what you are. Or it's now almost four times my age. That's some deep shit. Asa says. Ace thinks, like, oh, you're on. So then, then Austin still looks at her, says, "Huh?" And then she decides to throw steel magic at him. Yes, everything's froze like stops now. Smokes come up, so that's a teacher listen to never call a lady old and comment about her age. Then she was shocked when smoke cleared, all the metal pieces was frozen in place, then all fell to the ground. Asta was a dear more. Then Asta stood said behind her, breathing right into her ear, says, and you should watch where you're going. Otherwise someone might sweep you sweep your feet. Hey <laughs> hey. He says, making her blush said, <laughs> yeah. That is before the Dunny mission. Dunny mission will come in the next part. Okay, you, I've covered this now, but what will happen? Will, will it be an Austex Acer ship or Austex Noel? Or will it be an Austex ship at all? When will Austex be when will, when will Nero be able to return to human? Will she be able to return to it earlier than canon, or will what will happen? See you next time in What If Austex Was the Song of Lemuel and Sigrid?